scenes of unrest in central London came to a head this morning as anti-government protesters turned violent. The government praised this with action of the police force as they quell this latest uprising. Some viewers may find these scenes of the right disturbing. to protest and have this statement. Any form of public declaration of happening in any way or limit to acts of violence is prohibited and will result in the setting of the 20 years ago in Britain we were struggling. It was a time of great change. It was black times for all of us. I mean, the world had simply turned its back on us, demanding rights over our, our land, our governance, under the, under the guise of world peace and unity. And what happened as a result to us? I'll tell you, wait a minute. World peace in exchange for the choking of our nation, Lisa. Choking, sanctions and the brutal punishment of Britain. That is what happened so that we would be weakened. Strong words there from Mr. Robinson, but many of the party leaders will be questioning whether or not he can deliver on those promises. In other news, there's been an increase in solo acts of terrorism this week in a number of different cities across Britain. The police force are saying that this is directly linked to the protests in London city central. And Police Chief Donald Collins believes there is a core group of resistance who are deliberately inciting this behaviour. Next up, a dangerous man wanted in connection with a number of terrorist plots has been spotted near London's South Bank. Police force are asking for anyone who has any information on this man to come to the man is highly dangerous and should not be We will find you out! Yeah. We will drag you into the light! Yeah. We will make you answer for your crime! Yeah. Your betrayal against the very nation that you would call home. Yes. We promise we will stand against those who would destroy the very foundations of our nation yes. in the name of freedom. Yes. Hold your fire! We take him alive! 